Hey everyone, this is Jamie Davidson with AMZ Insiders and a little bit about ourselves, myself, my two fellow co-founders, Jason and Brad, combined to do over $75 million a year on Amazon last year and already for this year we're on pace to do well over $100 million all on Amazon. Today what I'd like to talk to you about is the three biggest mistakes I see Amazon FBA sellers make. And the first one is really about product selection. Product selection is so critical, so important, yet we see so many people do not put the appropriate amount of time and effort into really making sure you make a good product selection. So many people see products that sell really, really well and they think, oh, okay, that product's making a lot of money. I wanna make a lot of money, so I'm gonna sell that product, right? Which is a big mistake. If You have to know what you're doing on Amazon. And in that case, if you wanna sell a product that is already selling super well, super competitive, super, then you have to invest a lot of money into it. Uh, there's a lot more details that goes into all the reasons why in terms of how we give away products and all the things that go into place. But that's the, the biggest mistake is they don't go at it with a analytical process, really analyze the market, really understand to make a good product selection that's gonna give you the best chance to succeed. And they don't get the right amount of, of inventory. They often invest way too much, they get way too little. And so all these things, you really need to put in your favor. There's no guarantees. You need to be able to pick a great product. You need to be able to test that product to make sure it's successful. You make sure you get inventory, get a great product, all these things. But they're all related to product selection. And we see so many people go into products without really knowing what they're doing because they haven't put the time in to understand how do you actually select a product. So again, first thing, biggest mistake we see is all about product selection. And if you have like a, the wrong product, all the other stuff, doesn't matter if you do so many of the other steps right, even you know, some of our most advanced techniques and how to get to page one and market it, it's really difficult if you don't have the, the right product. It's not impossible, but it's so much easier if you know what you're doing on the front end and get that right. And so that leads me to the second biggest mistake let's see, Amazon FBA sellers make, is that so many people go at it alone. All right, we see we have Facebook group with over, between our two groups, over well over 30,000 members between the two groups. And we see people all the time and people ask about getting help. And so many people say, oh, you don't need any help, you don't need any help. And I think that is absolutely crazy. So you're dealing with something with has high stakes with a lot of money. There's a lot of complexity to it. Uh, there's a lot of depth to it in terms of how to, to do things on Amazon. There's a, a certain order you need to put things in. And people go out there just trying to figure it out by themselves. And you can do that. It may take you a lifetime to figure it out. It may take you five to, you may lose so much money before you figure it out. So some people are fine losing 10, 20, $30,000 on their own because they're afraid to get help from anyone else um, and go it alone. Now there's another group of people that I say, that I see you know, where I, that totally get it. They want, they want to learn you know, the quickest way, the best way how to do something. Learn from someone else's mistakes, learn from someone else's experience. Um, and really find a mentor or find a coaching program. And you know, those that don't do that, it's really, you know, it really depends on the individual. If you're someone who can do it, great. Uh, you know, for ourselves, we really rely on people to help us in all sorts of areas. And I like to use the analogy of every, even every Olympic athlete needs a coach, right? So if you take any athlete who's in the Olympics, every one of them has a coach. These are the world's best at what they do and they have to, and they need a coach to get that much better. Let alone people are walking into things with no idea how to do this and they're saying, no, 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 we don't need any help, we're good. Um, or they say, oh, we'll just go out and, you know, we're going to get a little piece of information here, a little piece from here and piece it all together. So, you know, people can do that, more power to them. But uh, again, in our opinion, what we've seen, that's the biggest mistake. We've seen so many people post things in Facebook groups and, you know, we've got this large $75 million plus Amazon business. We know what we're doing. We say we don't know everything. There's always new things, but we know a lot. We've got a lot of experience as one of the early sellers on Amazon and we see all sorts of misinformation out there that people are taking and implementing and they're wondering, you know, and it's leading them to believe like, oh, maybe there's not a big opportunity with Amazon anymore because I tried this and it didn't work. It's like, well, yeah, of course it didn't work uh, because you didn't know the right steps and the right process to do that. So uh, I definitely would recommend finding someone you trust, finding someone who can help you, find someone that's actually done it and has you know, a successful Amazon business that can actually legitimately help you and guide the way as opposed to completely winging it. So the third biggest mistake we see Amazon FBA sellers make from our perspective is they give up way too soon. So we see so many people that come into this and on one hand, they, everyone acknowledges it's, not, it's indisputable that e-commerce and the opportunity with Amazon is growing and growing and growing. There's no doubt, no one, no one refutes the point that Amazon and e-commerce continue to grow and for years and years and years, e-commerce is gonna to continue to grow. It's basically a fact. So what happens, people get involved and they see that it's a little bit of work, it's, there's issues, there's challenges, there's, you know, they have their listing and 
maybe something didn't go quite right with their, you know, they need Amazon seller support to help them and they have to call them and they don't get, you know, something resolved right away. So they get frustrated. Uh, maybe a competitor lowers the price and it impacts their product a little bit. Uh, there's, there's endless little things that happen with Amazon that can seem kind of, you know, annoying and difficult. And people think, oh, it's not working for me. It doesn't work or my product doesn't work. Or maybe they didn't follow the right process initially with the first product or their first product wasn't a total home run. And so they give up and they go, oh, this stuff doesn't work. Meanwhile, they kind of waste all this knowledge they've gained from hopefully things they've learned, but also just the experience you gain. And what we've benefited from is we've taken the experience and mistakes we made, certain things, and then we reinvest you know, our own mistakes back into ourselves, back into our business. And with, you know, with Amazon, it can really move quickly. I mean, a period of a year, you, know, you get that holiday season, the product can really go up. Even if you don't have a great first year, you stick with it a second year. But so many people don't even make it to the second year because, again, they haven't enlisted the help from people that can really help them do it. They run into some hurdles and they give up. So, you know, the third thing I really encourage you to do is to stick with it. You know, have this belief, this longer term mindset. You can't have such a short term mindset that, hey, I'm going to try to make a bunch of money in a few months. And if I don't, it doesn't work. You have to, you're trying to build. So that's why what we teach people is to really build brands on Amazon, which is easy in terms of the technical aspects of creating a brand. But we really believe in brand building because that's the long term success over time. And the more and more people buy your product, the more viable your business comes. Uh, the other thing, Amazon rewards you for hanging in there and not giving up. So the longer you're with there is you get additional features on Amazon, such as you get your product trademarked and you get into what's called the brand registry. Uh, Amazon then gives you new features. They actually unlock new marketing features that only you have uh, or people that only people that in the brand registry get that the rest of the sellers don't get. You have the ability to add new photos in different spots. You have the ability to do different kind of advertising than everyone else. So it's kind of like a video game where you're unlocking features. And the more you hang in there, and the more you progress with your business, the more Amazon is going to help you grow and grow and grow. So again, make sure you hang in there. So in summary, the three biggest mistakes we see Amazon FBA sellers make is number one, product selection. Not picking the right product, not understanding the right process, how to go about it. The second thing is not finding a coach, not finding someone you trust, looking for mentorship, uh, and trying to completely wing it on your own and make end up making a lot of expensive mistakes and so on, as opposed to finding someone that could really help you uh, get there quicker, faster, and better. And the third thing is don't give up, right? The third mistake we see too many people give up. Again, got to stay with it and realize, you know, this thing, you know, our own business, our own experience, we've been at it for, this is our eighth year, is, you know, it's a process. It takes time and you'll learn things along the way, but the power uh, and leverage of e-commerce is unbelievable and the power of Amazon is incredible and it's only going to continue, uh, continue that way with the incredible growth of e-commerce and Amazon. So if you found this information helpful about the three biggest mistakes, I'd like to invite you to click below. Check out our free workshop. I put together an entire workshop all about our exact process on how we built our $75 million Amazon business and how you can implement some of these exact steps more importantly than, than us building it is how you can build your very own e-commerce empire. You know, whether you're just beginning or whether you've already sold on Amazon, you know, how you can learn from what we've done, our exact process and make it your own and get underway building your very own e-commerce empire. So by clicking below for our limited time workshop. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And really important, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We, every week we put out new content all about Amazon and e-commerce to help you. If you want to make sure you're notified that, be sure to subscribe to our channel here. And lastly, we would love to hear what you think are some of the biggest mistakes. I'd love to hear some of the biggest mistakes maybe you think you've made if you've already sold on Amazon um, or any questions you have about selling on Amazon. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below.